Smile hello everyone this is Dr. Reshma Suryavanshi from Dr. Suryavanshi's Pulse Clinic and in this video I am going to show you a modality called Moxibition how to use it on acupuncture points. So let's get started for that you need a Moxa roll and a lighter and an S train which is handy. Also you have to take care that there is no uh, inflammable things around this because we are going to light up this Moxa roll. Okay, so this is a Moxa roll and I will slightly open this Moxa roll and I will light it with a lighter. So you have to light it, you have to keep a little patience because it will take few uh, seconds to get ready to get ignited. So from all the corners I am making this Moxa roll. Get it heated properly. So you can see that it's like a cigar, it looks like a cigar, and you have to ignite it as well, like a cigar. And during the classes, I have already told you that this is available into the jungles of China where no other uh, thing can be uh, there are no living beings or no plants uh, because of the snowfall there are no other plants or uh, no uh, human beings can live there so basically it is that hot so my moxa is ready so uh, always dust it so that uh, uh, your patient uh, doesn't have any problem And you have to keep it, uh, we are doing direct moxibition on needle, but we are not going to put it on the skin. Direct moxibition, but from a distance. So only we need to heat this point. So I am keeping this little far from the needle. And I will ask the patient, uh, uh, if you feel uh, hotter, you can tell me immediately, okay? Is this bearable? Yes. Okay. So you have to keep asking the patient if it is bearable or not and you have to also keep dusting the smokes up so that it doesn't fall onto the patient body. Otherwise, if it falls on the patient body, there will be boil. You can feel the heat? Yes. Should I change? Yes. Okay. So you have to keep asking your patient and very carefully do this. And keep on dusting in between. Shall I? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the results of Moxas are very very wonderful. You can only use Moxa if you don't want to do needling. If your patient is reluctant to put needles. You can only do Moxa also. Right now I am combining needle with Moxa. Uh, which is giving double stimulation. But you can only give Moxibition to the patient who fear needles. Because Moxa will also give very good result. And uh, uh, Moxa, Moxibition is a technique which is being used for 6000 years. Like needling is being used from. 2500 years on acupuncture point but moxa is the oldest um, method uh, which is being used uh, widely by the acupuncturist giving very very wonderful results can you feel the heat yes okay should i change yeah So this moxibition also you can do on all the points that you are putting to your patient and specifically we are doing this right now on the UB meridian. So even for back pain also this is very very useful. So for back pain if you are doing you can directly do moxa onto DU3 point or DU4. So this is DU4 and above this is DU3 point. So you can put at DU3 for back pain you can also use du4 for for back pain you can do moxa as well as you can uh, do only moxibition on uh, this is urinary bladder 23 point so you can do moxibition on urinary bladder 23 point as well you can do moxibition on urinary bladder 25 point so urinary bladder 25 is also uh, very good to do moxa for uh, back pain especially lower back pain you can do on this points 
into cases uh, with uh, a spinal cord degeneration like ankylosiding spondylitis you can give this moxibition on the whole spine also so you can give on each point for few seconds uh, it it all depends upon the uh, bearable capacity of your patient and right now uh, moxa i am doing on the point uh, urinary bladder 15 so doing moxa at urinary bladder 15 uh, which is an back shoe point of the heart meridian so the blood circulation of the full body will improve so uh, for you can do exhibition at this point urinary bladder 15 for uh, the proper blood circulation in the whole body so very wonderful results you get by exhibition even if you are not having any problem still you can do moxa for rejuvenating weekly ones can also be done so this is bladder urinary bladder 13 point which is a back shoe point of lung disorders chronic lung disorder you can use and you can do moxa only moxa or you can put needles and do moxa for double stimulation on any points you can do only moxa or you can combine needling with moxa also and keep on dusting in between And so you can see some spots which have become red. So you have to uh, keep on repeating this and the point should look like this. Till it becomes red and hot you have to keep doing it. Okay. You have to keep a salt uh, cup also with you to extinguish this moxa. I'll just show you that too. Yeah. So when we have completed this, we will take this salt cup and then we will extinguish this uh, uh, moxa roll into this. So just if we put it here, right? So this cup is filled with salt and this will help to extinguish uh, this moxa roll so that this can be used next time again when we want to give treatment then and then just we can keep this it will get extinguished so you should always have a cup filled with salt when you are doing this moxa and you can keep this uh, in your clinic and then second time again you can use this thank you so much